Have you ever used depot method of family planning and you are trying to conceive after the whole thing? This video is for you. Or you are having the mindset of, oh, I want to try depot as a method of family planning. You don't know anything about it. This particular video is for you. Good day, everyone, and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Messi Mary, popularly known as a nurse with a difference. And I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you facts, the advantages, disadvantages, how does depot work. So everything you need to know about this depot method of family planning, I'm going to be sharing it on this particular video. So if you are considering a type of family planning, just watch this video to the end and get useful information. But before we go into details in today's class, if you are new on our YouTube channel and these are content you are interested in, please click on the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nurse Miss Mary saying thank you. Let's go there. All right, welcome back. Like I earlier said, today we are going to be talking about all you need to know about this depot injection that is used as family planning method. So this particular video was prompted by a lot of questions dropped on the comment section by different subscribers. But the recent one that was dropped was two days ago and he said, at Hannah CC, say, please ma, I have a question to ask and I have been on depot. I only took one shot of the depot and my period is delayed. Can it be possible for someone to get pregnant while the period is delayed? So this video is going to answer this question and all other doubts about this depot injection. But first of all, what is this depot? Depot is a type of family planning method. It's in a class where you have the noristeria that is also given. Depot, if used correctly, is 99% effective in preventing pregnancy. You know, no family planning method is 100% effective. So depot is 99% effective if used correctly so what happened is that this depot injection is taken in the botox you can take it in your upper arm or in the botox so when you take it there is a release of a particular hormone called progesterone there is a release of what a particular hormone called progesterone this progesterone goes into the bloodstream it gets into the bloodstream and guess what it does it inhibits the ovaries from releasing egg and if you've been following our videos about reproduction, sex, and everything, you will know that if there is no egg, there is no baby. If there is no egg, there's nothing for the sperm to fertilize. So what this progesterone does that, it makes sure the ovaries does not release egg for fertilization to take place. So every month, you are supposed to release it as a lady. But this progesterone is going to stop the release of that particular egg so that even if the sperm come, there will be nothing for it to fertilize. And another way it works is that it thickens the cervical mucus. You know, if you watched our video, we've talked about where the cervix is located. There are mucus there, so it thickens it in such a way that even if the sperm enters, the sperm would find it difficult to swim to where fertilization is going to take place. So it makes the sperm, the mucus thick. It's no longer like slippery and easy for the sperm to thick. So that is how this progesterone injection prevents pregnancy. You may want to ask now, what is the right time to take this progesterone injection? So in terms of this depot, this type of family planning method, you can have this injection at any time of your menstrual cycle. It could be the beginning of your menstrual cycle. It could be the ending of your menstrual cycle as far you are not pregnant. So if you have this injection five days of within five days of your menstrual cycle, that's day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, you are immediately protected against pregnancy. You are immediately protected from getting pregnant. But if you have it after this day five, it's advisable you use condom for the next seven days to prevent pregnancy. So generally, all types of family planning, before it is given, before it is started, it is advisable they do a pregnancy test to confirm that you are not pregnant. For the women that are giving birth and thinking, oh, when is the ideal time for you to get this um, depot injection? You can have this injection immediately after giving birth. And if you are breastfeeding, they will advise you do it 21 days after 
giving birth. There's something I want to share with you. If you start the injection on or before day 21 after giving birth, you will immediately be protected against becoming pregnant. But if you start the injection after day 21, you will need to use additional contraceptive such as condoms for the next seven days. So that is that about depo and those that are getting pregnant. Let's talk about who can use and who cannot use this contraceptive. Generally, most women can use this contraceptive injection, but it is not suitable for you if you might be pregnant or you are already pregnant. Then the second one is if you are having bleeding between sex, you're having bleeding between your period, it might not be suitable for you. Then the third one is you do not want your period to change because there's a likelihood that this progesterone is going to affect your period. So you are going to experience a change in your period. If in your mind you don't want your period to change and it's not advisable, you use it. Another one is if you have an arterial disease or a history of heart disease or stroke, have a liver disease, you have a breast cancer and you are at risk of osteoporosis, and it's not advisable you use this injection. So then that takes me to the advantages and disadvantages, the pros and cons of using depo as a method of family planning. Let's talk about the advantages. So the first advantage I have to share with you is that it does not affect sex. It does not interrupt your sexual intercourse. You know, if you are using a normal condom, there's an interruption of the sexual intercourse trying to put the condom when the penis is erect. So with this type of family planning, there's no interruption of sexual intercourse. Then the second one I have to share with you is that it does not affect breastfeeding. So if you are breastfeeding, you can actually have this depot injection. Then the third one I have to share with you is that if you are this kind of person that is forgetful, it's difficult for you to take your pills, your medications daily. Like, you know, there are other family planning methods that you have to take a tablet every day. So if you know you are this kind of person, it's advisable you go for this um, type of family planning because you don't need to remember or keep an update of your pills. All you just need to do is that after uh, the, uh, the duration, which is usually um, three weeks, sorry, three months, you have to go back to your doctor and get another injection or your midwife or your nurses. Then the other point is that it protects you from pregnancy for 13 weeks, 13 weeks. Yeah, that's approximately three months. So for when you take it, it's going to protect you away from pregnancy for the good 13 weeks. So you have nothing to be worried about. Another advantage is that it may reduce heavy, painful period and help with premenstrual syndromes for some women. And another one is that it does not interrupt other medications that you are taking. And it's also a best option for those that don't want to use the estrogen-based uh, family planning method. So these are the advantage of using Depo. Now let's talk about the disadvantage. First disadvantage I want to share with you is that there's going to be a change in your period. So your period is likely going to become heavier, shorter, longer, but you are going to notice that there is a change. It might even stop altogether. So for the girl that asked that question on the comment section, I think this disadvantage actually sorts that question out. You might experience a stop in your period, a delay in your period. Your period duration becomes longer. So it is normal with depo injection. And another disadvantage about depo and other injectables is that it does not protect you against sexually transmitted infection like condoms do. So if you are using Depo, just make sure that you are not having multiple sex partner, you are not sleeping around, and you just have you and your spouse to yourself. Then the third disadvantage is that if you want to get pregnant within this year, it is not advisable you take Depo. Because Depo, when you stop it, for example, after three months of taking it, I stop it. There's a possibility that before I regain my fertility, it might take a full year for me to get pregnant again. It might take a full year for my fertility to return back to normal. Another disadvantage is that some women, after taking depot, they may experience weight gain and others may have some side effects such as headache, um, headache, acne, hair loss, decreased sex drive, and mood swing. So if you are experiencing decreased sex drive, that may be as a result of the depot injection that you took. I want to let you know that some of these side effects can continue for as long as the injection lasts. 
So you take note of it and don't say, oh, I've taken it for a long period of time. I'm still experiencing this side effect. So if you are having low sex drive and you took this depot, that could be the reason for your low sex drive. In terms of risks for this infection, it is where you might have that um, infection sites, injection site infection, it's where. But generally, depot is safe and it's 99% effective when used properly. All right. So thank you very much for staying to you. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. And also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. For all my returning subscribers, this is not Mary saying thank you. Bye and see you in our next video.